join kids hat family <laughs> Tia Hi Maria Hi Joanna Hi Tofu Hello Tofu Hello Tofu What are you all up to We are completing our art project for tomorrow I also want to do it Can I Wait 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 Tofu Why? All I want to do is add my prints also. I I'll follow your pattern. I'm sorry Tofu, but there's no place on this one. Can I give you another sheet to do this? It's okay if you don't want me to be a part of the fun, Tia. Tofu Oh now you have time for me Well actually I had a story for you It's about a lost mitten On a cold winter day when the entire forest was covered in a white blanket of snow a kind mole came upon a warm mitten Oh wow a warm mitten on this cold day I live in it and make it my home for the winters. Just as the mole was making himself comfortable in his new house, a little frog showed up at its mouth. and called out to the mole Hello Mr Mole Oh hi there frog how can i help you It's very cold out here today my feet are freezing in the snow can i share your mitten with you Of course there is enough room in here for both of us So the kind mole welcomed the frog in the mitten. Just as they were warming up, a rabbit comes up to them. Hello friends. It is really cold out here. My tail is freezing. Please give me some space in the mitten. Of course. Come in, come in. The rabbit was very happy for the generosity. And he got into the mitten with the mole and the frog.
Then they had two more visitors. A fox and a vixen. It's so c cold today. My snout is freezing. I feel like I am breathing ice. Can we please get some shelter in the mitten? We're already three in here. It'll be a little tight, but sure, come in. We will manage somehow. Thankful, the fox and the vixen squeezed themselves into the mitten. But there was just no space for anyone to move. Sometimes the rabbit would step on the frog's foot and sometimes the mole stepped on the fox's tail. As they all struggled, a bear came along. A warm mitten and good company. Just what I need on this gloomy cold day. Make room for me, friends. I'm going to come in too. Oh no! But there's no place in here. You're too big for this mitten. I promise I won't take too much space. No, oh, no, 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 no. But the bear didn't listen to them and made it into the already crowded mitten. The animals had no choice now but to stick their heads out of its mouth so that there was space inside for their bodies. And just as they were all finally settling in, a baby mouse came along shivering in the cold. So warm in there. It's so cold here. Look at my tiny tail. It has frozen itself blue. Please let me also come in. Sorry little mouse, but this mitten is completely packed. Even though you are so tiny, there is just no room for you here. Oh, but I see some place. It's all that I need. The little mouse dashed towards the mitten and before anyone could say anything, he climbed onto the bear's nose and sat there. But his cold tail hung there and irritated the bear's nose. He was about to sneeze. Achoo! The bear couldn't hold his sneeze and with a loud sound he sneezed so hard that the Achoo! mitten went flying up, up and up in the air and all the animals got thrown out of it into the cold snow once again. What, Tofu? Hmm, I was going to be the bear in your mitten. 
Yes, and you would have sent it flying into the air. These cookies are so yum. I can eat them forever. Tofu, have you ever imagined what if these cookies become alive? Alive? Hmm. This reminds me of a story. The Gingerbread Man. Long ago, there lived an old couple. One day, the old woman cooked a gingerbread cookie in the shape of a man. As soon as the gingerbread man was cooked, He jumped out of the tin and ran out of the open window, shouting, Don't eat me! He ran away as fast as he could. The old couple tried to chase the gingerbread man, but he was too fast for them. Soon, a hungry pig saw the gingerbread man and said, Stop! I would like to eat you! He too joined the chase. The gingerbread man was too fast and said, You can't catch me. I am the gingerbread man. A little further, a hungry cow saw the gingerbread man and said, Stop! I would like to eat you! She too joined the chase. You can't catch me! I'm the gingerbread man! Next, he met a horse. The horse too joined the chase. Finally, the gingerbread man came to a river and stopped as the river could make him soggy. A clever fox came by and wanted to eat him up. But he pretended to be nice and offered help to the gingerbread man. He asked the gingerbread man to climb on his head so that he could take him across the river. The gingerbread man was so scared of water that he agreed. As soon as they reached the other side, the fox tossed up the gingerbread man in the air he opened his mouth and ate him up. That was the end of the gingerbread man. <laughs> I don't want my cookies alive and get eaten by a wolf. <laughs> Enjoy your cookies, Tofu. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.